Well, be fixing everything. And because there is always something to be fixed, you might need a hinge on a door somewhere. But I have a doors that don't have uh, openings and uh, holes for uh, hinges. So I have to do them myself. And I decided to make a video to show you how you can do them yourself as well. What you need first is a hinge. Usually there are uh, 35 millimeters in diameter. So if you grab a ruler, it's 30, it needs 35 millimeters opening. For that purpose, you need, you need a drill bit that can do 35 millimeters. I got this one from Lido, but in your local hardware store, they'll sell these for sure. So I was using the 35 millimeters one, it's on the drill. You need to measure, it's really easy if you know what you're doing. So that's where the wood is starting from. You need 20.5 millimeters this way. And usually it's 10 centimeters from the end of the side of the wood. So let's measure 10 centimeters. There we go, 10. I'll just zoom in a little bit. And now another 20.5 right there. So in here I can show you an example. If you don't do that stuff right, which means you don't press hard enough on the drill, the drill bit it will start drifting to one side, whatever side you're leaning to. But if you press hard, it will become nice straight circle. Now, <clears throat> how deep do you need to drill? These are usually uh, one centimeter, but they can differ from thinner ones, which are like seven millimeters, to the thicker ones, which are like 13 millimeters. So it really depends on the hinge you're using. These cheap ones <coughs> are usually um, 10 millimeters, but one like this here, it's uh, 12 millimeters. So it depends from hinge to hinge. Now, when you measure the depth of the drill from the top to the bottom, is around 15 millimeters. The wood I'm using is 18. So we need to be really careful to know when you need to flush for my hinge is right when the drill is flush with the wood. So let's start drilling now. Zoom out a little bit. started drifting to one side a little bit. Now take a vacuum. It's not deep enough. And I'll do a, another spin. Now that's perfect, it's ready to be installed. Well, that's how quick and easy and relatively cheap when you exclude the price of the drill bit. You can do it if you have a drill bench, it's even better. 
0.5 millimeters and whatever you got on this side. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.